So we uh, downloaded our save game before. We uh, installed Brute Force, we downloaded the save game, we re-signed it to our machine. But it might not be the right region. Uh, you know, I'm in Australia, so our version of, in this example, we're going to be using Skyrim. Always look on the side of your case. You know, um, always know what version of your game you have. It'll be Bless or Bluss, usually. Uh, some games have NPUB, I think, is actually only digital downloads. I could be wrong about that. But anyhow, uh, because this is a jailbreak and I've renamed all my folders and I, you know, might not always remember the version, I've got the Australian version, Bless... 0128 or something like that and my American version is 32102 like plus anyways um, there's multi but my save game will actually come up plus uh, 30778 or something it's it's weird how that works but anyhow so what you'll oh, I'm on the PS3 we'll go to the desktop so we're going to be using brute force again. This is another brute force tutorial. Uh, I might also get PS Resign and do tutorials for that too. I haven't used that for over a decade, so I'll have to relearn it again. It's very much the same, very similar to using brute force. Anyhow, uh, as you can see here, that's the version of the save game I've got loaded now, Blast 30778. Oh, I did memorize it right. Anyhow, <clears throat> the save game we downloaded is already the right region, right? But I've got a, a normal PlayStation here and my flatmate as well, both Australian PS3s. They are, in Skyrim's case, Bless 0128 or whatever. So what we, you know, if you you just look at the side of your your, your case, your game case, that your disc comes in. Uh, or what I'm going to do in this case is, you know, I was look it up to make sure I've remembered it properly because I can't be bothered rummaging around looking for the disc. Anyhow, there it is, right there. In brute force, we take away the little hyphen thing, right? Oh, it's 01329, not, not 8. So that's the code we're going to need. It'll be on the side of your case, as I said. Uh, every game will have your region code on the side of your case. So what we'll do, right, is we'll change this save game here that I've got loaded. The one I downloaded just before in the last one where I, the resign tutorial, which will, I'll put that in, the, in a link to that in the description as well. So you've got your game loaded up. We'll just show you again how to load your game. Uh, we're looking for this PC downloads and there's that save game that we've got same one I've got loaded oh that's right I copied it across and now it's in desktop my bad so that's the American version right or one of the American versions it's already been signed to my profile it's got my numbers here you know my account ID my, well, my PlayStation ID and my PlayStation Network ID. That's all re-signed. But if I was to load that onto my normal PlayStation or my friend's PlayStation, it won't show up. And when you go to load your save game in Skyrim, it won't show up. It'll be invisible. You won't be able to see it. And that's because it belongs to the American version, not the Australian version or Euro version. So what this is about is you'll decrypt it always click on that first click on the save first and then go decrypt same when you re-encrypt it, I do it before every step as you'll notice I'll click on it again now this is where your magic happens right click it change title ID slash region right there and that's where we're going to enter the code bless I'm just going to copy it and take away the hyphen replace it We'll move that little hyphen in there. And now it makes a duplicate, right? Do not 
I, I've had a few times where I've corrupted them from yeah not closing them properly. So what I like to do these days is click on it, re-encrypt it. This is the new version. As you'll notice, they both got that's the new one and that's the old one there. But make sure we don't corrupt the old one as well. We'll re-encrypt it as well. There we go. Now we've got one of each version. Now that will work for your region. Because a lot of the time when you download saves, it might have been come from a different country in a different region. So that'll all work now. That's that. That's a very easy, quick, fast thing to do. Oh, it really does not take much time. Oh, I hope that helps. Just copy them onto your USB like usual. Uh, we will, you know, get the right FAT32 program and make sure your USB is in FAT32 format. Make sure it's got a PS3 folder inside that and a save data folder inside that and put your save game inside save data folder. And you're all set. Put it on your machine and then just do the copy process uh, like so. Where is it? Pardon me. Yeah. And then you would just, once you put your USB back in your PlayStation, click on it, triangle, and then copy it back across. Now that wants to overwrite, and that's what the next tutorial is going to be about. <laughs> Making it so it doesn't try to overwrite your old save games. You might not want to get lose your old save game. So that's that. I hope that helps. Now you know how to change your region in brute force for your save game. Have a good day.